I'm Sally Spaulding, Community Relations Director for the City of Aspen. Today we're on Maroon Creek, uh, just below the dam. We're kind of near the Two Lazy Seven Ranch on a bridge here running across Maroon Creek. And we're doing a bit of an experiment. It's to help us kind of understand what's going on with the Castle Creek Hydro Project. And you might be asking yourself, why aren't they on Castle Creek? Well, because of all the rain we've been having, we're only able to do this experiment over on Maroon Creek. But basically what we're doing is trying to recreate some different conditions here on the river to show you the difference of what it might look like. There's been a lot of talk about different cubic feet per second, CFS, running in these streams and what that might look like. People have said, you know, oh, the suggested 14 CFS for Castle Creek is a trickle. Um, we'd prefer something like 20. So we're out here today looking at roughly 14 CFS on Maroon Creek, and then we're going to crank this bad boy up and look at 20 and see if you can tell the difference. So we're going to take a look, try to you know not have any fancy camera angles, just show you what we're seeing here, and hopefully that can give you a better idea of what the difference between 14 CFS and 20 CFS might actually look like. So you're looking at about 14 CFS in Maroon Creek right now. The reason why I'm giving you the number 14 is because that's about the number that a biologist named Dr. Miller says is the minimum stream flow that could happen in Castle Creek to keep it healthy. So for the Castle Creek Hydro Project, that doesn't mean that it's going to run at 14 all the time. And that's exactly what um, Dr. Miller says shouldn't happen. He says it can reach 14 CFS. And as long as it has great big flushing flows like we do in the spring when the river can run around 600 CFS, as long as that hydrograph remains the same and we see those big healthy flushing flows and the minimum we get the stream down to is around 14, he says that's enough to have a healthy stream. So that's the basis behind that number 14. So now you're looking at about 20 CFS in the stream, actually about 23. So uh, take a look at the water, take a look at the rocks, notice any difference um, that you see between the 14 that we're showing earlier. Um, the number 20 uh, comes from a couple of folks who say that that's the appropriate amount for the stream to run in. So we wanted to show you that number to kind of show the difference between 14 and 20 and what that actually looks like in the stream rather than what it just sounds like. Thanks for joining us for our little experiment here today on Maroon Creek. Sorry we weren't able to do it on Castle Creek. Because of all the rain we've been having, we just couldn't dial the river down to the amount that we wanted to show you today. So um, hopefully you got an idea about cubic feet per second, what that means, what that looks like, and the difference between what it looks like around 14 and what it looks like around 20. If you want to find out more about the Castle Creek Hydro Project, visit www.aspenpitkin.com and click on Castle Creek Hydro.